Hi there. Welcome to my Stellaris Let's Play, Advanced Strategy, Tips and Tricks. This is episode 17. In this episode, I'm going to look at finishing a war, post-war economy rebalancing, post-war trade routes, and uplifting. Before we get into the episode, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the episode's length. So, the last few episodes have been more around the, the 25 to 30 minutes mark, as opposed to the, the 15 to 20 minutes that the first episodes were at. If you are enjoying the new format, if you, if you like these longer episodes, please leave a comment. Or if you prefer me to go back to, to the older style with, with uh, slightly shorter episodes, uh, let me know as well. I just wanted to try something out and, and, and see how people liked it. I hope you enjoy this episode. And here we are back in the League of Isavera and we are at war. So let's jump straight back into it. We're in a war. We are comfortably winning, I would say. We've taken a, a large amount of the enemy space here is occupied and we are about to land on another of their planets to take that one. Their pitiful armies will not be able to stand up to the might of the League. We have lost some systems. Our worlds, however, are well defended. They're under bombardment, but we've taken a small amount of devastation. We're doing fine overall. Our planets, economies, meanwhile, they've suffered a little bit. They've not been, let's say, fully managed in this time. Let's just grab another food job. So before we get started with actually running through, I'm just going to quickly discuss what went well for us earlier and what, what, what possibly could have been improved and, and, and how we how we went about the war. So uh, identifying these two points of entry here and here, Haneri and Uzmanzara, those are the two main points into the bulk of our space. Now, now this part of our space up here, we've lost it, absolutely. But it contains one world and overall not that much in the way of resources. There's some science we're losing out on which is definitely not great. You know, reduced science is not is not fantastic, but but it's not crashed our economy to lose this. So so it's not been crucial to to, to defend it. And we, we couldn't have defended it. Our fleets were only slightly more powerful than theirs. We had one fleet, our main fleet here, which was around the same initial power as the, as the, the sum of their fleets. So it meant that if we had any engagements, I knew that this fleet would be comfortably able to to stand up to whatever whatever came against it and then i had a smaller sub fleet here the three carriers the carrier cruisers which which are able to just fly around and deal with with basically anything uh, they can fly in and they can sort out pretty much any 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 undefended system so a system without ships because they the star bases they have just simply as i said before don't have the range to deal with them and now we've just got one small fleet here and I've, I've looked in and they're they're very low on health so they're not really going to be an issue to my carrier fleet my main fleet is going to turn left and it's going to deal with the remaining few fleets we have out here which is our, a few ships uh they're a reasonable number so now let's unpause We've got an unspent civic point as well. We will be reforming the government and having a look into the uh, civics I'm going to take there, the extra one. But for now, it's not going to be important. So actually, I'm going to go there and I'm also going to queue up immediately coming this way. Brilliant. So they're going to fly out. They should come out and fly out. And oh, they're fully, they're fully defended. But these, these five ships are going to be no match to us. So, you know, overall, it looks like, oh, we're, we're not in with a good chance here, this fight. But these carrier cruisers are just going to... They're going to go to town. We shouldn't even take any hull damage. No, no hull damage is going to be taken. Let's just quickly look at what our available options here are on the science. Oh, so, research station output. X-ray lasers. X-ray lasers, are they the third or the fourth? I can't remember. So, UV is three, blue is two. So, they're the fourth. So, actually, I want X-ray lasers. That will allow me to get proton torpedoes. Proton torpedoes are the best weapon in the game for you know, the long-range artillery. It's the best loadout for your battleships. And then looking here, what I can take, I might go with a better armor. It's the, so the armor's definitely looking good. The fabricators, I don't... Yeah, I think... 
Well, what am I getting in crystal production? Well, none. I'm actually producing no crystals. So let's go with the armor for now. And let's check out this battle. We lost three corvettes. Which one was this? So we engaged what was left of their main fleet groupings and we took, lost three whole corvettes. It's, uh, it's a rout. We're apparently we we're slightly ahead of them in terms of fleet power before this started, but, but now it's just ludicrous. And over here, our carriers are going to town. I'm going to take out this starbase and then move on to that one. Once their starbases are taken out, their fleets will have nowhere to respawn to, or to retreat to. Oh, that's not entirely true. They will have somewhere to retreat to, but they'll have nowhere to repair once they retreat. And that will make them very easy to take out. Boom, and then go into the main starbase here. Should quickly wear that down. Now I'm not going to bother with the other two. I'm just going to come over to here. And we are looking here, what could I take? It's definitely going to be this diplomatic weight and grand embassy complex. It's expensive. But that's 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 going to be that's going to be the good one for me to take. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to colonize this. There's been a little bug. A little bug has come up. So I've got pre sapiens on this planet, but they don't appear in the species tab, which is really annoying. This is a little bug that appears in the game. The way to solve this is by colonizing the planet. Then they should appear in the pre sapient list. So I'm actually going to colonize them with the. With the robots? Yes, with the robots. I'm going to send a rudimentary robot. The reason I can send this robot over to colonize is that in the species tab, the rudimentary robots have a slightly different set of species rights to the robots. And I've enabled uh, colonization rights, whereas the robots haven't got colonization rights enabled. I could enable them. I don't need to. I'm just going to send these rudimentary robots over. And I'll quickly run through this, my home world, because I probably want to build another building slot there. And what am I going to build? I'm going to build the Research Institute. That's going to give me a big bonus to my research output. It's going to give me a 15% bonus, which is great, and a, a, a researcher job, a ruler job for researchers. The next planet, well, let's have a quick look. So I could upgrade Foundry. I'm also actually I'm just going to deal with this housing issue. Build another city district here, there. Deal with the issue here. I'll build another mining district. Should be really churning out minerals here. You have 115 output, and that's even given the fact that we're using some, which is really good. Uh, so now I'm starting to get a problem. So now here on this planet, as you can see. I can't build any more districts. So now I'm going to be looking here and actually have anything turned up actually, ooh. Yes, I'm going to take this tar blocker quickly instead because that's going to take a few months. It's going to take more time to remove these glaciers. I don't want to be getting into big negative housing. So I'm going to take that instead quickly. And I've got here just two alloy foundries. Well, I think then I will build, I'm at plus 50, 22, 68. Uh, that's, I really, I, I do, I could do with some more and I'll take more. And then the next planet here, which is our agri world, I'm going to be building an, another administrative office. I just want to offset that big modifier I'm getting at the moment. Campaign costs are plus 100, yeah. So, yeah, so these campaigns are, are at plus a hundred percent which is making them quite expensive I've got a research station here this is fine the administrator should be producing plenty of amenities to deal with the population there and wow I'm getting all the immigration is coming to here so I'm plus plus a load there every month and what I also will build here is, well, actually, I'll wait. I'll wait to build something there. And then what am I looking like here? This planet, I'm actually going to build another civilian industries, I think. Just want to reduce my reliance on those. This world is fine-ish. Well, those glaciers, actually, there are going to be another uh, help as well, because I'll be able to remove these tile blockers. And I'm actually going to build a city district just to remove this remove this housing penalty. 
let's just unpause and we'll keep going. So at this point, we could settle status quo. Now, in doing so, we wouldn't get everything we want. What would happen is a new empire, well, we get these, we get some of the systems. This system, we haven't taken the planet yet, so of course we wouldn't get, we wouldn't be getting the uh, system because you need to take both the star base and all of the planets in order to take a system in a peace deal when you're either settling status quo or achieving, well, achieving war goals. If you've got it as a claim system, you'll just get it. In settled status quo, you only get your claims and you only get the claims you've currently taken. But also notice on top of this, we went to war with the tributary war goal. So if we were to settle status quo, the systems we've currently taken, which have planets in them that we haven't claimed. So for instance, that would be the capital here. And maybe we should just quickly claim that planet. So 48 population, that would be a big boost to our empire. We've got 250 in influence. Now you should always claim before going to war because you get that big offensive war modifier, but getting an extra 50 pops is really important. So I'm actually going to claim their home system as well now at this point. Uh, but I'm not quite going to peace out until, oh, actually I want to force the war goal or I want to make sure I've taken all of their planets. Once I've taken all the planets, they'll probably sue for peace anyway. Uh, so it's it's going to be fine. Now looking here, I'm probably going to take yeah, colonial bureaucracy, another plus 10 to admin cap. And I need the gas extraction wells, I'll take that one. Fleet combat again, fantastic. No damage taken by to us. Meanwhile, this start this fleet is going to I'm just going to send them around to pick up the systems that I haven't quite ah they've they've pieced out with us so the best possible outcome so they are now our tributary fantastic we've now gone from being a small power to we now have about a quarter of the galaxy as ours and we found some nice worlds up here a desert world and a Gaia world is this Oh, it's Holy Guardian, so that Gaia world's probably not one we can take. Yeah, that's probably not a Gaia world we can take. But now we're definitely going to have some... We've, we've got no... Let's take a look at our sector map mode quickly. Oh, so these planets have actually fallen straight into our capital sector. Brilliant. So we've not actually had to change up any of our sector management. Yes, because one, two, three, four. They're both within four systems of our capital. We've won the war. We've taken them. Let's... Let's just end the month, because then we'll see, get a good idea of where our... Oh, before that quickly, we've had Caravaneers want to drop pops. Pops are good. I would always say yes to getting extra population. Peace of Prosperity, Knights of the Void. Okay, that's cool. Then we also want to make sure... So I'm going to build a leisure district here to get to have entertainer and culture jobs just for the amenities. And I'll make sure there's one more research district and then I'll upgrade habitat control. But we still haven't got to the end of the month. Let's get to the end. Oh, uh, before we get to the end of the month, though, I'm going to make sure I buy some consumer goods just so I don't accidentally go into negative. Because we want we want to be balancing our economy now. Because as soon as you after a war, you have to balance your economy immediately. And so it's quite important to, to manage that, to look at that. And to do that, you need to... Oh, we've got to the end of the month. Have we got to the end of the month? No, maybe not. I can't remember. Ah, yes, we have. We, we're seeing our subject taxes in here now. So, brilliant. We've got to. We've got to the end of two months. So, we're getting thirty-three energy and twenty-five minerals from our subjects, the Glesbic Foundation. And they're on the Galactic Council. Oh, that's that's interesting. For another ten years, they are going to be a member of the Galactic Council, that's quite that's quite interesting. Uh, is anyone upset with us? That's a good thing to check as well. So, no, they didn't mind the fact that we have conquered some neighbors, uh, but they weren't their neighbors. That's fine. So, so yeah, we've just conquered these guys. No one really minds. So a couple of things to do that are important. Let's bring this fleet back to our, back to a star base with a crew quarter and the other fleet as well we'll deal with them once they get back there now let's look at our starbase caps so our starbases 
are not over capacity so we can keep the star bases we've conquered do we want to though so let's look at our trade map mode so oh let's uh, see this one has i've got space for extra modules which i'll probably be using and here i have okay so what i'm going to be doing is this system i'm going to replace the two anchorages with trade hubs that's going to give me branching out onto these two and then i'll probably upgrade I'll, i'm going to change this into over up over into a shipyard and i'll make sure to put a couple of hangar bays out just to increase the range of my protection i'm also going to upgrade this starport and then this one here i'm going to destroy because i don't i don't actually need it i don't really want it uh and I don't need two trade hubs to do that. Sorry, I need, I need one trade hub to go to both places. And then I will actually keep the anchorage, I think. Meanwhile, yep, shipyard there. Cool. So now I've got this symbol here. This means that I've got unconnected trade networks. So I'm going to go to my trade route map mode and I'm going to left click here and I'm just going to send them all back to my capital. And one by one as I do that, Oh no, there's some piracy there. That's going to be something I'm going to deal with. But one by one as I do that, you've seen these have gone away and that will also, I'm going to finally get the trade value coming back. Yep. So that's 11, 24. That's, that's bringing a lot more back to my capital now. 104, that should put my energy straight back. There we are. And back to being good on energy again. Fantastic. Now let's look at the worlds we've conquered. So we've got a capital world here. They're slightly unhappy. Well, we can upgrade the, the planetary capital. Oh, they've... They're going to be a bit more than slightly unhappy now that I've fiddled with that, I think. But, right, so we're going to upgrade the capital. Because that's going to give us some amenities there. Because the problem is we're low on amenities. We'll go up, so let's fix that. The immediate thing I can do is buy in a load so let's just sell a few thousand of that a thousand of this it's a little bit of those and distribute luxury resources so i'm going to be distributing luxury resources there that should yeah that's brought my amenities up to minus three i'm now only at 31 that's not correct that's going to update itself there we are 43 fantastic i brought the stability up already Civilian industries are there. That's kind of okay. What do I want to have here? I actually think I'm going to make it into a tech world, I suppose. This can be a tech world, yes. So let's just set this over to technology center. Pause that. Check this out quickly. So some technologies. I'm actually just going to take this one because it's the cheapest. I don't need another tile blocker yet, I don't think. So at this point, I'm going to take the plus 20% to my food. It's the, basically the cheapest, and it was pretty reasonable. So I've upgraded that. I'm still at negative amenities. That should balance out once the planetary capital goes away. There is crime at the moment. I think that's also going to away once I, go away once I've upgraded the planetary capital because I'm going to get another enforcer. And then I'll come back in 480 days and I will probably upgrade a research lab or something along those lines. And we've got another world here. And they've built a gene clinic. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to re replace the gene clinic. And I want to replace it with something with a similar number of jobs. So I'm going to replace it with... I guess I will be replacing this with another alloy plant. And then let's throw a couple of energy districts onto that world. Okay, and then we've got one more world to look at. There's another one we've taken. Oh, is this another? Yeah, brilliant. Another, another one of those. So let's actually replace this with. I, can't, I want to do the robot assembly, but I actually I probably have time. No, I, I won't because I don't want to have the unemployed population. So I guess I'm going to just going to do another alloy foundry I've got minus three jobs that's interesting brilliant I've got minus four jobs that's fine let's throw in two of those and we'll make sure we set this because it's not a refinery world 
that's kind of nonsensical. Let's just go with industrial world for now, but we'll have to come back and change that. But that's the only, we've only really got clerks. So this is te planet's terrible. There's medical workers, clerks, and artisans. I would never recommend you build a planet that looked like this. It's, yeah, it's just non-ideal is the best way I'm going to put it. I am going to now as well get a scientist. Let's find one. And we can see where that goes. Oh, that goes over to there. That's fine. That's not too far. And the other one goes here. Okay. Okay. That's not that's not awful. That's fine. Uh, f luckily, we don't have a gap into that, that territory there. That would have been a slight issue if we had something like that. Let's go with the plus 10% to alloy output. And then we'll take the master shipwrights. Right, we are running low on something. Consumer goods in six months. Cool. That's okay. For now, we're just going to manually buy another 250. Because we, we do actually want to balance that. And then here, I'm probably going to take the... I think I'll finally take that plus 10% to research station output. No, advanced combat rolls. Much better. I'll definitely take the advanced combat rolls. It's going to give me bonuses to my ships. What is that? Oh, it's amoeba. I should really pacify the amoeba, actually, thinking about it. So, fortresses. Yep, I'll take fortresses. And I, I'm now at plus 45%. I really I, I want to bring that down. So let's just throw in some administration offices on a couple of planets where I've got the room. And actually, if I change this one over now to a tech world, I'm going to get a bonus to these five researchers. It's going to reduce their upkeep by two resources and here i'm actually going to take the robot modding i believe yeah i'll take the robot modifications so i can start building slightly better robots and we pass something in the senate as well okay what do we pass form galactic market right so now we need to make sure that we have the energy to put the and the influence to set this on our homeworld which we do we'll nominate it adequate okay that's fine as long as there's only a few other races in the in the galaxy as long as no one else goes with it we should be okay nuministic data modeling i'm going to not be interested in that right now and also i'll just throw an admin office here i'm just going to throw them across my empire because i don't want them to uh i don't want to have a world of administration offices i'm probably going to take uh something that gives me some unity from them in a moment well i'll take the okay here now as well i'm going to take the extra benefits because that's not the end of the world another admin office here so i'll have thrown those in all across my space but these rocket as well they are psionics so something i will really need to do immediately i'm going to go to my species tab and i'm going to set the rights of these guys to be assimilated and we're also going to just take more Admin cap at this point? No. no it's not worth it. Need a level cap. And here I think I'm going to see, do I take extra alloy plants? Civilian fabricators. Let's go with the civilian fabricators for now. Burning through the research at the moment. That's going to once we get rid of this as well, we're going to have basically having a big 50% increase to our our scientists' output. So at this point, I'm going to take the cheapest, which would be this. No, actually, I'll take the curator just, just to get the technology out of the way because that will increase my diplomatic weight in the galactic community. See, now, look, here I am at 2.9. So I've stormed ahead. That's mainly, if you see, down to my population, my economy, and my technology. My fleets aren't massively bigger than the, uh, the other fleets. In fact, they're, they're equal size to some of the other nations equal size to these two nations between them, they've got bigger fleets than me but i do have many many more population compared to i've got twice the number of pops i've got twice the economy and almost three times the technology because i'm now pumping out a thousand technology per month which is which is good it's good that's that's a reasonable number for this stage in the game and i think we'll have to build another civilian industries there and another civilian industries here we just need to increase the number because we've got we're spending quite a little quite a few now on pops and on our jobs we upgrade that synthetic crystal plants that's oh that's necessary yes i'll take that over the improved strike craft just for now 
just for now. And we can look at our home world. We've got an employment there as well. I'm going to. I think we're going to upgrade the that building there just for the extra jobs. The plus ten percent at this point now is the best option, so I'm going to take that. Uh, there we are. Lots of things have happened now, so let's make sure we still. Because what we'll basically be able to do, there's so many of these that we should be able to go through and we should be able to go through and almost get the entire afterburner technology getting these plus 10 percent actually and colonize something well have we colonized this one here so yeah now i've got the pre sapiens on our world i should be able to see pre sapiens here they are finally in the menu so i'm going to now choose to uplift them it's going to take me five months it's going to be worth it technology now what have i got a choice on afterburners no i don't want to take those yet because i'm going to try and just get them let's go with ah got to zero again here i'm going to set a monthly trade up now so we've got the we've got the energy for it but here deep core mining auto is definitely good deep core mining and we're really catching up now with our empire sprawl i'm going to hopefully level out so let's let's buy 50 of those and I'll add a new monthly trade. I'm just going to buy 20, just so I don't go negative. Checking out throughout. We've got quite a few worlds now, and it's, it's always best to kind of micro all of them. It sounds kind of annoying, absolutely, but you're going to get a better output from your worlds if you're the one looking after them rather than the AI. How many worlds have we got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got lifted the roach, is brilliant, but we've got 12. So that, that's, you know, around 20, I'd say, is the limit of where you can comfortably manage it. Otherwise, you're having to start, pause it every time. Every time you're going to have to pause every time you get to the end of a few months, go through every planet and, and, and fix them. Let's just check how our roachoids are doing. They're full citizenships, stratified economy, full, mil full military service, full colonization rights. Brilliant. They look good. And they're uplifted and irradiated. Let's create a template and we'll just give them rapid breeders because we're going to splash these guys across all of those worlds. And we'll apply the template to all of them. That shouldn't take, yeah, that only is going to take us a few months. And then we're going to have them with a better trait because there's only a few populations. It's good to do that early when you've uplifted a species. When you uplift a species, you're going to have some free points ready for them, some trait points. So you should immediately begin by uh, altering them, uplifting them and get going. And as you can see, there's a lot has happened now in the last in the last five years or so that game time have played. We've we've grabbed a load of space. If we just go to if I turn off the details map mode, we've grabbed lots and lots of space. There we are. We've grabbed lots and lots of space here. The green is uh, is our is our tributary, and there they're expanding out there. They're doing fine. They're going to be a nice, healthy tributary that no one else can um, can fight against either. We're not going to have to worry about being called into a war to defend them, because unless it's the the, uh, the marauders up here moving out, it shouldn't it shouldn't really be an issue. We've uh, expanded our space. We're doing nice and comfortably, and we're just now getting onto balancing our economy out. Now I'll just remove this down again. Let's just go to the end of that month. And see how we're doing then we should be green across the border white even on all of our resources yeah fantastic that's fine uh let's just do this one piece of research fantastic proton launchers that's important you should always get it as soon as you see it you need the level four laser technology to see it once you've got that it can then be rolled we're going to get that and then hopefully we're going to get battleships soon as well and that should give us the ability to outcompete all of our neighboring civilizations in terms of their firepower. This is where I'm going to end episode 17. This has been another long episode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you've got any feedback, please leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.